What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. Disclaimer alert. Please don't try to replicate the stuff you see on my show, okay? I'm not responsible if you guys try to recreate or replicate or reproduce some of the stuff you're about to see and end up hurting somebody or yourself or your equipment. It's all on you guys. Let's get to it. All right, so what you have uh, see on your screen right now are the components that I use to build the bolt catch. You have the hopper plug a half inch 13 set screw that I have cut the top off of and drilled through to allow a quarter by 20 to slide through. Then I have a steel nut quarter by 20 that I turned on a taper. Okay. This was just for prototyping purposes. Um, what took so long to get this video out is that I actually brought the prototype to a machine shop and said, I need a bunch of these made in the softest aluminum you can find. And they said, okay, yeah, no problem. Three to four weeks later, they called me up and said, your order is ready. And I showed up and got a bag of exactly what I gave them, steel nuts. And the reason this is important is because if you try to mash aluminum with steel, you're going to mar up the aluminum, in which case the bolt is made of aluminum. So going forward, bolts are expensive. That being said, I took the hopper plug, I tapped it for half inch by 13. Okay, I'm not gonna go through the process now, it'll take forever, and besides, it's already done. Then I took my set screw, and then I put it inside the hopper. I put my set screw in, and the face there, I set it to a depth of 0.314 inches off the highest spot on the plug. Point... 318. Okay, I'll take that. That's pretty close. Then I took my quarter by 20 bolts. Okay, this is a grade 12, I believe, on Breco bolts. Uh, if we were to zoom in really close, which I'm not going to do, and read the insignia on the side of the bolt, you can look cross reference that to a chart that they have where this little puppy right here has got some kind of crazy shearing strength up in the hundreds of thousands of PSI. And I wanted that because I didn't want it to bend or bind at any one point. Uh, if it did that, the system would jam and it would stop working. So as you can see, it's coming together. We now have a plunger. Then I took some aluminum MIG welding wire and I wrapped it around a quarter inch Allen key or maybe a 5 16 I can't remember what size. Then I placed that over top of the plunger bolt. I took my rounded off nut and I installed it so that the wedge points upwards. And the reason I did it in that fashion so that the wedge points upwards is so that it would center itself on the upward stroke. And as the bolt was coming through and it caught the bottom part, it would start to ride up and engage itself more. Okay, because it's ramped upwards. The bolt will come through, hit the wide part at the bottom, and keep traveling upwards because it's ramped, and engage itself more so it wouldn't skip off and go the other way. And of course, to fasten this, rudimentary, I know, and it's quite ridiculous, using a pair of pliers. And there you have it. Bolt catch. Now, the machine shop did lose the spring I provided with them, and I did whip this one up about 10 seconds before I decided to film this video. They also managed to mar up my um, hopper plug fairly well, and I don't understand why they did that. Maybe they tried to take it apart or something happened. So I do apologize for that, but you're not here to see how cool it looks. You're just here to see how it works, and that's it in a nutshell. I'm going to have to most likely fiddle with this a bunch more because the machine shop had uh, obviously messed this up a little bit when they went to take it apart to uh, duplicate the nut and they did manage to lose the spring and uh, the spring length and size was absolutely critical to making this work. So I'll get to fiddling and uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe because I'm going to be doing some more impressive stuff with the M17 in the future. 
And this little guy here was the first step in uh, allowing me to do these things safely because um, I don't want some of the things I'm about to shoot to chop, especially inside the barrel. That would end tragically. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.